How's it going guys? Welcome back to Dip Discovery. Today we are looking at the OnePlus Nord 2 Pac-Man edition from OnePlus and we're going to be giving an unboxing and quick look at all the features of this bad boy. Alright guys, so if you find this video useful, please drop me a subscribe and like and it really helps me out. Now this is the OnePlus Nord 2 Pac-Man edition. Now at the moment, if you buy it from OnePlus's website, you can actually get these cool things. So what we've got here is the, uh, it's a nice little Lego themed uh, Pac-Man uh, stand that you can put your phone on or it also houses a tablet as well. And it comes in pieces in this box here, which lets you build it as well, which is kind of cool. And you also get the OnePlus uh, Type-C uh, bullet earbuds as well, if you want the wired earbuds. So at the moment, if you click on the link in the description, you can actually buy that in a bundle and it comes free with the Pac-Man edition. <clears throat> so this is the box here, nice tall box with a matte finish. Um, and it's got this kind of Pac-Man theme font there as well. Um, and it opens up like a parcel. So if you open up these two sides here like this, and you can see straight away, it's filled with color. Um, and the whole thing unwraps like a, bit of like a parcel and you get this awesome looking interior print there for this Pac-Man edition uh, phone. Um, and then the inner box, obviously it says on the front, the Pac-Man in the full color logo, you get this really cool kind of, um, uh, it's like a metal metallic foil effect with the maze in the Pac-Man 256 edition of the game with the uh, OnePlus Pac-Man edition uh, branding on the side there. So very, very cool stuff. If we open up the uh, box, it just slides out here. <coughs> there we go. And then, first of all, you're greeted with the little insert here. So if we just open this up, and this insert has a little cut out there. Um, which uh, signifies obviously where your camera kind of cut out would be on your phone so it's kind of cool and you get um, you know very good quality packaging all the way through and this actually has the quick start guide in there really long quick start guide to fill the box very nicely so that's all in there as well and then once you lift that out here you go inside the box you've got the uh, for the phone itself with um, a little uh, this what's it okay this way Nord it says there so uh, and behind that this way Nord you have the battery charger, which is the 65 watt uh, warp charge from uh, OnePlus. So it's good that they actually give you a charger these days. <coughs> Apple, not giving no charges, but there you go. And you also have the phone, which I'll just lift out, the phone in there as well in its little uh, wrapped baggie. But I'll just put that to the side for a second. Um, Cause behind the uh, phone, you have the dash charging cable. Um, and it comes in the nice, you know, signature red and white uh, colors there, the type C cable there. Underneath the box, what you'll find here as well, hidden away, is your OnePlus uh, Pac-Man case, which is uh, quite cool, because it's like themed in the whole same thing as well. So let's just get that out. So there, pull that out there. And as you can see, you get a really cool OnePlus themed Pac-Man case which has again got the metallic effects to it obviously it fits in absolutely perfect because it's come from oneplus direct but it's got like a matte finish um like a matte kind of satin finish so it's easier to grip than the glossiness of the phone and it really celebrates the uh the design of the phone with a kind of see-through back so you'll be able to see how it looks like uh underneath as well um but it's a great feeling case really good quality and to be honest i would probably wouldn't use it simply because i want to keep it in good condition <laughs> and only take it out on special occasions but it's a very very nice case that, that it comes with the phone as well so it's a good thing to see there so we'll just put that away to the side okay so here we have the phone itself now when you uh obviously you've got the wrapper on it just gonna open this up carefully Oop, not just drop it out and here's the phone really really cool obviously it is the kind of spec the set the spec wise same as the oneplus uh, nord 2 standard edition the 256 gig model so you're getting yourself a 50 megapixel main uh, uh, camera you've also got the telephoto on the ultra wide you've got the um uh 65 watt charging as well and a 90 hertz amoled screen in there um, and it's very built very very nicely you've got a glass black and front obviously and um, it comes with a screen protector already applied and it's got a really nice kind of shadow gray uh metal rim around it with this nice pearlescent back um, which has got the pac-man uh logo there 
with the dots, like as eating the dots, and it's actually a glow in the dark back. So when you charge this thing up with glow in the dark style, like you do with your watches, um, it'll actually, the maze will kind of glow out green, which I'll try and capture later on in the video in the camera there. Um, and you also got a nice volume rocker um, here, which is a nice little accented blue uh, volume rocker that you get there as well. Got two bottom firing uh, speakers there as well, um, as you got the stereo one at the top, so that's pretty cool. Really nice feeling, nice looking foam. Um, so let's power this thing on. Now, as you power it on, you are greeted with that nice kind of uh, vibration uh, haptics that you get on the OnePlus phones. So unlike other Android phones, the OnePlus do pay a bit of attention to their haptics and they got a better haptic engine than most uh, OnePlus phones. So loading it up, you get a really cool OnePlus edition animation as a Pac-Man kind of runs across the screen as it powers itself on. That's very nice stuff. Straight away when you load the phone on, you're greeted with loads of cool Pac-Man animations, a very vibrant AMOLED 90Hz display that we've got here. Uh, um, so one of the things is when you try and use the fingerprint scanner, um, you get this cool uh, animation of the uh, Pac-Man ghost, you know, uh, circling your thumb as it kind of tries to read the front print, which is really nice. Um, the uh, wallpaper is all animated as well, Pac-Man themed. Very, very cool, very, it looks really nice, the Pac-Man kind of colors on the uh, vibrant display that you have here as well. And then if you scroll down from the top with the notification bar, you can see that there's a little Pac-Man uh, little uh, uh, figure as it eats the uh, dot as you kind of go back and forward through the menus and of course the whole thing has got the Pac-Man theme of the yellow, blue, you know the purples, um, kind of black theme going on uh, throughout the iconography as well, things like the uh, gallery app, um, the camera app, you know the apps that come st stock uh, with the Android <coughs> experience will come with that kind of Pac-Man S pixel kind of uh, look there. So let's have a look at the camera app. When you open the camera app you'll see that we've got the uh, settings menu there if you go into the setting menu, obviously you've got your basic kind of Android settings, but the kind of fun stuff is here when you slide in from the uh, left, you can see that there's different aspect ratios and of course there's a 50 megapixel mode as well. <clears throat> now what you need to pay attention to is the aspect ratio because when you say if I've got 50 megapixel on now, which is the main kind of big, big boy camera with uh, all the detail, if you do change the aspect ratio to say one by one or full width, you know, the phone screen or 16 by nine, it will actually remove that 50 megapixel camera. Um, so it only actually works on the four by three. So you need to make sure you have that set if you do want to shoot in 50 megapixel mode. Um, then you've also got obviously your timers and stuff like that, which is kind of standard fare. Uh, being a mid-range phone, you know, the, uh, the, the photos look really great in, um, in uh, high, uh, well-lit areas. Um, however, if uh, you know it is get a bit darker, then it can suffer a bit. But they do have a night mode, which kind of works kind of well, depending on the lighting and the environment itself. Um, but you know, you're just gonna have to play around with it, really. The, it has got like an AI optimized scene enhancement, um, which you know sometimes I don't really notice that much, and sometimes it can over sharpen things. But that's it, you know, um, that's what it's there for, you know, if it, to kind of help the pictures look a bit better than they are. Obviously, you've got the HDR and 4K recording in there as well, um, which does kind of help things and some basic filters, um, which kind of, you've also got a Pac-Man mode filter, which kind of puts the animation of the Pac-Man guys on the screen as well, as you kind of take a picture, which is kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, there are little kind of hints and homages to, to Pac-Man as you kind of, uh, play the uh, play with the phone as well um, so yeah uh, overall quite impressed the selfie camera mode as well same kind of idea you've got the um, you know it, again it works very well in brightly lit areas um, you know obviously you're always going to suffer with a with a portrait mode in um, you know low lit, lit areas but if you got the portrait mode uh, um, you know the selfie mode it, where it blurs out the background tends to work quite well obviously he's using software to figure that stuff out and um, uh, you know the, the standard version kind of uh, looks quite sharp and of course you've got all your kind of uh, filters in there as well with the night mode um, you know your pro selfie beautify all that kind of stuff if you're into that kind of jazz as well so overall using the actual phones quite good experience it's powered by a what is it called it's got a weird name media tech dimensity 1200 ai chip so i don't actually know who 
makes that, but it actually works quite well. It's very snappy. Um, it, tends, it says it kind of learns the way you kind of use the phone to optimize it for that in terms of battery usage, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, it's a very snappy phone. Um, the 90 hertz refresh rate is great. It runs really quick. Um, but you know, it is kind of a weighty phone as well. It's got a bit of weight to it. But overall, using the phone, you know, you can't notice any like slowdowns or stutters as I kind of go through the menus. And then as you clear the RAM cache, it comes up with that conf uh, confirmation there saying your your uh, uh, phone is running in the best condition possible, which is kind of a nice touch as well. You've also got some nice. Um, uh, uh, themed wallpapers for the Pac-Man uh, theme again. So if you press and hold the uh, middle screen and you open up the uh, wallpapers there, you can see that there's some animated Pac-Man wallpapers that you can have or some static ones, which is a nice touch as well as the normal Nord 2 uh, wallpapers. So very, very cool stuff. And it's nice as, as you turn it on, they kind of animate and unlock the screen. The screen itself doesn't have any of that curved uh, um, things anymore. It's all just a flat, screen which i kind of like to be honest um because these days the curved screens they don't really have a purpose whereas back in the day you kind of had these little widgets that come out on the screen it's a bit pointless these days and uh you know it makes it more fragile whereas uh so here we've got a, a nice flat screen all the way across you've got your selfie camera punch hole camera in the top left as well so whether you like that style or you don't that's a personal preference but the screen goes really bright and obviously you've got your own kind of uh uh, mode there to kind of uh, reduce the um, uh, eye strain if you put it in the uh, low light mode as well. Uh, but overall, it feels really uh, feels really nice. Now the phone actually has some cool feature where it actually comes with a Pac-Man game uh, preloaded. So if you open up your app drawer, you'll find this game called Pac-Man 265 and uh, 256. Sorry, <laughs> and then if you actually uh, obviously made by Bandai Namco. Um, but when you actually play the game, it will, um, the higher score you get, you actually unlock extra features, like little Easter eggs in the phone as well. So it's like a 3D version of the game. It's like a bit of an updated uh, Pac-Man, uh, you know, 3D version of the game where you kind of um, got like an isometric view. Um, and it's really actually pretty cool as well. It's a new kind of take on Pac-Man and the kind of uh, bottom of the um, uh, screen um, gets taken away by this uh, kind of code and then uh, the longer you play it the faster that code removal of the uh, screen goes and you um, you know there's and you get these little pools where uh, the uh, code kind of comes in to make it a bit more difficult um, and you also have um, <coughs> oh I'm trying sorry I'm trying to concentrate what the hell's going on here but it's pretty cool and obviously the uh, sound effects from this game is continued throughout the phone as well. So if you go into your uh, notifications uh, menu and set yourself uh, a new message tone, you get this. Uh, you get the option to have a Pac-Man message tone in there. So if you press that, I'm going to turn the volume up. So that's a really cool notification tone from the game there. So pretty, pretty smart stuff. And you also have um, Pac-Man themed uh, ringtones as well which is really nice. Um, so here's the Pac-Man ringtone. Uh, obviously these are only exclusive to this phone as well. You know, and it's stuff like that that makes this phone a bit more unique. You've also got an alarm as well. And you know what, that makes a bit more a um, bit more unique, you know, having this phone because obviously uh, when that kind of notification goes off, um, a lot of people have asked, you know, what 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 was that? And then you obviously have to explain, obviously it's Pac-Man and then they're like, oh yeah, it does sound like Pac-Man. So yeah, that's pretty much it with really. Um, it's a really nice looking phone. I definitely recommend it. It starts about £499 for the Pac-Man edition. Obviously the OnePlus Nord 2, 128 gig at the moment starts at 369. The 256 is 499. So obviously this is the same price as the normal 256. Uh, gig version and you know what for a mid-range phone you can uh, do much worse than going through uh, the Nord 2 Pac-Man edition phone. If you like this video guys please drop us a like and subscribe it really helps me out and there's links on where to buy it that takes you straight through to the OnePlus's website where you can buy the Pac-Man edition or you can have a look at what else is they've got there going on. Thanks for watching my unboxing and review of the OnePlus Nord 2 Pac-Man edition.